Please We've got a lot of hostiles inside, Agent. They're holding Dr. Please. Candle and her staff. We need those personnel back at You're the right. base so we Go. can get the medical wing back. functional. Right, as I said on my last video, I've come back with a friend to do it hard so I can sort of show and compare the differences. The first main difference, of course, is the fact that the uh, enemies, the NPCs, are all much. Uh, got far superior hit, hit points. You, know, you can see the little white bars above the purple bar. Purple bar obviously denotes that they are um, of a harder level, and also the white bars above them is some sort of level display of armour. And the second difference is there are more of them per section. So in this section, there are seven. And in the normal level, not only are they easier to kill, there's only actually five in this uh, this first part. I am going from memory there. Um, it might be that my memory's not very good, and there are in fact more than five on the normal level, but nevertheless, hope you enjoy each encounter, and at the start of each one I'll try and explain a little bit about it, or at least tell you the number of enemies that we're going to encounter. I want to point out the fellow at the top of the escalators. Just keep your eye on him because uh, on another day it's possible he may well have caught us out. In a second you'll see him at the top of the stairs. There you are. Have you really? And we're casually wandering around now as if uh, everything's finished, which of course it's not. But uh, I don't see uh, my friend kill him. If you patch me into the security system, I might be able to find Candle's location. It looks like they've got people upstairs, in a restaurant. There's a lot of these guys, but if you use cover, you should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. Right, and this first part of the next section it starts off with four. There you go, just flashed up there, you can see the four red marks. Um, Again, they're quite, well, they're harder than the normal level, of course. They've got the uh, the armour and the, the purple bar as opposed to the... I can't remember what the other colour is, but it might even be purple. Anyway, I can't remember. But they're harder. Um, take more shots. And um, I don't know if they're any more accurate or not, because, as you can see, it's uh, quite a cover-led game, so additional tend to not get shot as often as perhaps you would on any other game like you know, the back of the you're dead within seconds aren't they so anyway uh, another another four again three have got tags on and one doesn't have a tag on but then they seem to have lost their tags again so that's four and another four which is this four on now and then uh, I think after Additional this comes two boss people as such but they're uh, they have more hit points, the colour bar is gold or yellow, and there's two of them, so they take a lot more to hit. And uh, they're, uh, I think they should be carrying a little bit better in terms of loot as well. You may have already noticed that uh, my friend and I don't use Segre did to each other, and that's due to the fact that we've put them gaining on and off now for so up to 12 years um, kind of tend to know what each other's doing so on that sense we don't really need to say a great deal to each other okay there's uh, two more I suppose if you like end of level or end of sector bosses again so that makes four of those in total so that's 12 I think in total in this, this encounter Staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. Okay, the section's clear, so on to the next one. Be careful. That submachine gun is hopeless in dark zones. So the second one is it? Yeah, the one that you throw out. That yeah. You use. 
Yeah. Okay, tell this me area. Me. Ready? Uh, shoots everything and everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> In this area, are there we are seven to, to begin with, and then a further six. Unfortunately, I can't remember uh, how many there is on the normal level. It's actually the same number in the normal level in this part. But I'm not certain. One tip I will say is that if you can, aim for lower centre mass and then the recoil takes you up. And it's pretty effective at getting rid of uh, somebody in pretty well in one go, I suppose. Phillips cleared that last one off, so we go through a set of double doors now, walk past the doctor, and then we've got another set of enemies that come in from what well, the direction that we're heading at the end of that room there. Keep your heads down and keep it quiet. Morning. Hostiles detected. Well, I think in this section, or this part of this section is actually six now. And again, I think that's pretty much the same as it was in the normal level. Although something tells me that there may be one less now, but I'm not sure, maybe I'm not counting as uh, accurately because there's too much going on. Let's see another uh, centre mass and upwards attack on him, and then again with this fella here. So it is quite effective. I mean, you've got to be relatively able to control the mouse to control your accuracy but it helps a lot if you're just aiming for headshots all the time this can take you a lot longer to finish things off and it's going to make it more difficult for you to actually taking heavy fire from defend the yourself as well as kill because while you're killing one person that somebody else is um, we're pinned down coming around the side. no way we'll make it across alive unless somebody right, get up there upstairs. take out the big guy uh, cut, cut to the next scene all your Alpha Escort, we have an agent on the roof. Has Candle made it to your position? Affirmative. Senior staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. Well, you might see that little note above my health bar. No respawn zone. So if we die here, then we're on, we're on your own, or you're on your own until you either die or you finish the level, or finish the encounter. And there's a restock box just there. There's also another one halfway into this little area. Um, there's, I believe, 13 of this quality enemy, and then there's one boss which just seems highlighted on the roof in the distance. Um, it takes quite a while, it's quite an intense uh, battle, but it's good fun, it's very good fun. So, uh, hopefully, um, you'll enjoy this next bit and then uh, get to play it in less than a week. Well, look at this fella here rushing forward, I chuck a grenade at him, and then... Philip kills him. So I waste a grenade, I want one back off to Philip. But then he does uh, help me out here because I reload and just fell with a baseball bat decides he wants to uh, redecorate my head. Should we go forward? Uh, 
And here comes another fellow with a bat. He wants to redecorate me again. Luckily, Philip spotted him and whizzed him down before I could get into cover and, and have a go at him myself. Warning. Additional hostiles incoming. Right now, I think these next four low level ones are the last ones to appear before we get to take the. Uh, I can't remember the character's name now. Whatever it's called, you get taken down after what's going on in his own. get to now. I'm struggling here. Didn't know what to do so luckily you can get to me. Just F and hold it. There's one coming up on me buddy. Right okay now it's the uh, I suppose the boss sequence if you like. He's noticed my uh, rearming. Was good there. He counts with one bullet in the chamber. Anyway, Philip's gone around the uh, the other side of this building, and he's uh, he's got himself in a good position. So he pretty much does this single-handedly. Either that, or I'm crap at it, and he's way better, which is probably nearer to the truth, in all honesty. I don't recommend jumping on top of a, a building in the middle of a fight when you're not covered, but again, that just uh, reiterates what I've just said. He's better than me, I'm crap. Philip's got this. I'll stock up my guns. Thanks, mate. Got the medic safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. Excellent. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. Now I really have to make some food for tomorrow. Yeah, okay, mate, no problem. It's good that. Yeah, it's fun playing this. Uh, yeah, definitely. <coughs> well, hopefully, uh, we'll get loads more of this in when it's out. Yeah, of course we will. Okay, mate. Take care. Have and fun. you. See you later on. Your team. Okay, you saw the hard level. Uh, we did quite well in that, I think. And uh, as Philip left, you might have heard my 18-month-old uh, replacement for him come and join the game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I should try and post as many as I can when the game's released in full, and hopefully a lot of it will be with Philip. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.